Coach, How about Brendan you, Gooley? Like Brendan Gooley is playing for us tonight as well. Obviously with uh, uh, Josh being uh, injured uh, in the foot, took a shot in the foot. and uh, Brendan's getting the call up. He got a call yesterday when he was uh, out west. So uh, joining us and uh, going to be with the Cody Franzen today on the back end. Coach, you've Josh seen him in two, in two uh, training camps now. What have you seen out of him? Well, you know, for two training camps ago, um, you saw great skating ability. Uh, certainly a young kid. But lot, this year, I thought he uh, showed the skating ability, but also showed uh, an increased battle level, increased uh, intensity, um, playing defense, and and uh, it's just maturation for uh, for him and his game. And and uh, you know, uh, we. Felt like we needed to add some speed on the on the back end, some skating ability, and Brendan's going to provide that. What is Josh's status? I, you know what? I, I'll, can I tell you after the game today? But he's he's going to be out uh, a little bit. But uh, I'll tell you after the game. And today. do you have any report on, on Casey Nelson? He hasn't played the last couple of days. Is there an injury there in Rochester? There, he is uh, he is out uh, currently right now, and he's got a neck, shoulder injury. Which is day to day, day to day. I think he's questionable for today. Yeah, he um, he re hurt himself. He hurt his groin again, and uh, he's progressing right now. And I think uh, uh, doing better, and I think progressing to skating next week. What's the updated timetable on Bogosian and Kulikov? Um, Kulikov is uh, now skated two days with some physicality and, and now been skating for seven days. Um, so I think uh, hopefully that means we'll see him in practice soon in the next uh, week, hopefully. Um, Zach is, you know, probably uh, still in the 10 day to two week time frame for Zach. You're but certainly thin on defense, I mean, but it's early December. I mean, how tenuous a position is this? For the organization on that blue line right now, you're confident in Gooley, but I mean, this is really getting thin here. Well, a little bit, uh, you know, the the shot situation, the left shot, right shot. Uh, I think we feel like we uh, have some players and Bergdorfer to call up in a, a right shot situation, and um, you know, I think just uh, the, the left shot was a important decision when when uh, calling up Brendan. But we are, you know, with the injuries we've had, with the injury to Josh, um, it, you take three defensemen out of your lineup, you get uh, uh, you get thin. And I think we were, uh, I think we all knew we were not deep and, and a little bit thin at the start of the season just uh, as an organization. And um, getting three injuries to Kulikov, Bogosian, and Georges just uh, kind of accents that uh, position. and. Um, you know, as you go forward further down the road, your Kulika or Cooley and Borgen are coming uh, as defensive people down the road. But uh, with the injuries we've gotten, it just uh, accents that, uh, uh, you know, our depth at defense. Was he close to making it out of camp? It seemed like he was. He was. Yeah, he was, most definitely. And, and uh, there's a lot of consideration to keeping him out of camp through, given we were going out west for the first. Uh, for games two, three, and four, um, and I think he showed in. Uh, I think he showed in camp to the that his game was at another level. Uh, you know, we say, see his skating ability, and you you see what that can do, and you you kind of have uh, envisions of that speed on the ice with our other players. Uh, but I thought uh, where he did improve and where he did show he was much improved was his battle level and his ability to play defense uh, at the NHL level. In camp, and it was one of the reason why we were considering, you know, keeping him on that trip at the beginning of the season.